everybody and a very warm welcome to our service at communion this morning. Please do come and join us for coffee afterwards. And there's a whole pile of copies of the annual report at the back, um, various names and addresses if he's able to deliver any. I think that's what they're there for. Um, and there's also some without names and addresses if you want to copy a paper copy then please do take one away. Any other notices? We meet in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We pray together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly lovely and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and in sacrament, call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and forgive you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our collect for today. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose Son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth, and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading. <coughs> the first reading is from Isaiah chapter forty nine, beginning at verse eight. <coughs> Thus says the Lord. In the time of favour I have answered you, on the day of salvation I have helped you, I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will turn all my mountains into a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Lo, these things come from far away, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syene. 
Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child or show no compassion for a child of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you O Lord. Lord. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, the son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For whatever the father does, the son does likewise. The father loves the son, and shows him all that he himself is doing, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomsoever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honour the Son just as they honour the Father. Anyone who does not honour the Son does not honour the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment but has passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this. For the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
Let us pray. We pray to you, dear Heavenly Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and guided by your Holy Spirit, Father, be with your church. Be with your church across your world. Be with the suffering church, especially in countries where faith is truly tested. with all who minister here. Be with us all in our church life, here in our benefits. Father, we thank you for your church across the world. We thank you for your church here in the Manchester Diocese. Lord, we thank you for the good that many Christians are doing in many places, working in your name, with your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <laughs> Father, our world is troubled and chaotic. Lord, we pray for your peace to rain down on all those living with conflict, disorganisation, suffering, and sadness. Lord, we pray for all world leaders, all leaders. Especially we pray for those in countries in such difficulties. That just living a normal day-to-day -day life is a risk. Father, we pray that all those who make decisions for those they serve and represent Will do so with compassion, with care, without greed, and without the love of power. Lord, we pray for all in our own government and all who need our town council here in Oxford. Father, we pray that you will help each one. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we pray that you will be with the joyful hearts are overflowing with gratitude. We'll be with all those who have new projects, new relationships, new jobs, for whom life is a great and wonderful promise. We'll be with all those who are newly promoted Father, be with all those who are new Christians, those who have found faith, 
those who have found you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we are so blessed with this beautiful town, three beautiful villages in our benefice, such a wonderful location. We thank you, Lord, that we have everything that we need. Our community is full of so many lovely people, generous with time and with each other. Lord, we thank you. We thank you we can meet together and grow in fellowship. Thank you for our Lent groups. Father, you know us so well. You know the plans you have for us. Benefice is your making for your glory, for your continued work in our community. We already have so much to be thankful for. Lord, as we continue to cement our relationships, help us to be tolerant all our needs and accepting of all our differences. Lord, you created each one of us differently for a reason. It would help us to embrace our differences and to celebrate Father, we ask for your help in all our efforts in this community. Lord, you promise that no matter how small the initiative, that we will plant it and tend it. You will send the sun and the rain to help it flourish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, sometimes it is easy to look around us and feel that the world is broken, unity is broken, or our relationships are broken, or our church is failing. But Lord, help us to see the good, to see the wonder, see the joy. Help us to seek out the beautiful, awesome, the lovely. Lord, we pray that we can be examples of your love and your goodness. We never know when our word or our deed or our love has an effect on someone else. Seeds are planted all the time. Lord, help us to encourage and guide others who are searching for you, searching for a deeper relationship with you. Lord, we pray for our Alpha Course all those on the course. Especially we pray for our youth Alpha course. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. 
Father, we pray for those who are unwell in our community and known to us personally. Father, be with the weak who you know their need of you. Be with the strong who do not know their need of you. Be with the sick for whom life is anxious and painful. Be with the lonely who are desperate for someone to call their name. Father, we pray for all those in our community here. We pray for our own families, and all who are in need of your loving care at this time, whether through illness, bereavement, or difficulties in their lives. moment to pray silently for those known to each of us personally. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless all those who we have brought to you this morning each with their own needs and concerns. You know them all, Lord. We pray that you can ease their pain. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we bring to you all those who have asked for prayers, leaving names of loved ones in our box, back of church, by adding their names to our notices, and all the hand prayers that are on the altar. Lord, we lift all these prayers to you, knowing that you know them already, that you hear our prayers and you answer our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for ourselves. Lord, as we continue this Lent journey, be with us. Help us as we read and hear your word. Guide us by your Holy Spirit in all that we do. Lord, help us to come closer to you. We get nearer to Easter. Help us all to form a deeper relationship with you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We do give them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is your right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels, and all the powers of heaven, you may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is given for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit, as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us, the body and blood of your dear Son. <coughs> as we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ, and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Bring us at the last with all the saints to that vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you. Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the 
power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us in this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to feel in the sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. and we'll share it. God is love and those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. Peace of the Lord be always with you. I could also be with you. Some one that for a sign of peace. And my final blessing for us this morning. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ.